Hey guys, it's Brian Bray here. Today we're going to talk about how you get a tanker or multiple tankers to stay on station in your multiplayer server or in your single player mission. Uh, the reason I say multiplayer server is I've had this question asked to me a few times. Um, how do I get you know a tanker to stay on station um, without having to restart my server kind of every four to five hours? And this is the answer. All right. So provided you don't have to restart your server for some other reason, this will allow you to delay your server restarts, hopefully. All right, well, actually, it will, uh, unless, as I said, there's something else that, that's causing you to restart. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So we're in the mission editor. Um, I probably sound a bit bunged up because I am. I'm just dying of a cold, man flu at the moment, so you have to bear with me. Moving on to this, right, so what we need to do is you'll see a couple of things here. So. I've done this already just to make sure it works, okay? But I'm gonna talk you through exactly what I did. Um, and look, if anyone has, uh, you know, is unsure of this, come onto my Discord server, link is in the description, direct message me, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, you, you can screen share or whatever. That's what this community is about, so I'm happy to help. Just, just let me know, right? So let's zoom in here. So the first thing we have is, uh, KC-135 tanker here, okay, so, and I've called this tanker A, alright, so skill doesn't matter, um, very important, just very useful, just make sure you uh, copy and paste the name into the uh, pilot, um, it just, just helps later on, okay, um, w with everything that is, not just this particular mission, um, so we have him at 18,000 feet, uh, heading at four, you know, at a speed of 430 knots, and you'll notice he's not on late activation, okay? Because this is the first guy we want in the air, offering them refueling capability to 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 our to our to our jets. So we have, if we got into advanced advanced waypoint actions, we have obviously he's a tanker. Uh, he's activated his TACAN, it's channel X uh, one X-ray, and uh, we have him orbiting at eighteen thousand feet. So if we go in here to show you, so we have perform task. Um, if you want to add this, literally, we'll literally go add. This will pop up. Perform task. The task is orbit. We want him to perform in a circular motion, not racetrack. Uh, you can do racetrack if you want. It's whatever you fancy, but I prefer a circle. Um, so he's just going to go round and round and round. And let's set his speed to 430. He won't actually do that, but uh, right, it's, uh, I want him to, to, to circle or orbit fast enough that I'm not going to stall out my jet uh, when I'm refueling. And he's going to do that at 17,999, right? So for some reason, the mission editor does this, even though I have 18,000 in, in here. So that's where we are, right? Now, what's going to happen is he's going to perform that orbit. So if we go into stop condition, he's going to perform that orbit, okay, um, for five minutes, okay? So we want to select duration here, and we want to go five minutes, okay? If you're a multiplayer server, you'd hit duration and you could select, you know, a couple hours, three hours, four hours, whatever, whatever takes your fancy. I'm not sure the actual um, range or duration of uh, the KC-135, but um, yeah, generally I, I leave them in the air for single player missions for about two, two and a half hours. Um, so for the purpose of this tutorial, five minutes. Okay, so let's go back in here. And then what's going to happen is he's going to stop orbiting after five minutes and he's going to so he's going to orbit at waypoint one okay when he hits uh five minutes timer is going to run out and he's going to continue on to waypoint two which is here and in here we have as you see a tanker spawn in area okay now i've set this to, to quite a large radius and the reason for that is ai especially tankers in dcs a, a tanker ai like to have a very large orbit pattern and what can happen is when you want them to hit a trigger zone if you set it too close in conjunction with the waypoint that they're going to they can miss it and what happens is they tend to literally just go left right left right because they're trying to get back to the waypoint and eventually you know long story short they won't hit the the trigger zone so that presents problems of itself right or on its own so uh, I've made it quite large and I've set the waypoint quite far away. So when I say quite far away, let's measure the distance. We're talking 30 nautical miles, right? So, that, I mean, that's only a few minutes, okay? So it, it'll just mean that your uh, your jets are without 
with feeling capability or they don't have a time to run station for the best part probably you know five ten minutes but that's not that's not a big deal so that's the story so tiger one gonna orbit for five minutes at waypoint one when his five minutes is up he's gonna proceed to waypoint two he's gonna hit the tanker spawn end zone and this is where it gets interesting okay so if we go back you'll see I have another two guys they you can set this up as long as your server allows okay or up to the point where you would have to restart so in theory you could set tanker a this is tanker B and this is tanker C all to orbit for five hours so you'd have a restart cycle of 15 hours which is loads yeah um, so tanker so what's gonna happen is tanker a hits the if we get back to it the spawning area tanker B is gonna spawn in he's gonna go to waypoint one for this particular tutorial he's gonna orbit for five minutes and proceed to waypoint two which is in the trigger zone tanker spawn in resulting in tanker C spawning in and so on right and you can do this as many times as you want right um, very important that all your tankers are set to orbit obviously at waypoint at whatever waypoint you choose okay now how do we do that okay so let's go into triggers so over here to triggers oh, it's very simple so right here we have tanker a or tb so basically this means tanker a is returning to base so he's going to return to base when unit is inside the zone and the unit we're referencing here is the first tanker so tanker a and he's going to be in what zone the tanker spawn in zone so when tanker a hits the spawn in zone we're going to get a message right and this is you can you can make this a voice message so if it was a voice message you'd select here uh sound to all i think it is or sound to coalition or group or country or whatever you want um and you can put a voice note in there you know uh, make it even cooler but uh for the purpose of this look demonstration a quick message going to pop up on the top right of the screen and it's going to say tanker a's or tb when he's in that trigger zone right and then what's going to happen is tanker b is going to spawn in okay and then you'll see over here i've literally just cloned this trigger and this is for tanker b so tanker b when he gets into the spawning zone his five minutes of orbiting is up we're going to get a message saying that he's going back to base to refuel or land and tanker c is going to spawn in and you literally just repeat this process for as many tankers as you want all right so to show you this working let's hit fly I don't know why it does this yes I've already saved it and uh, let's start so we're going to speed up time here now because I don't want you watching me my ugly mug for five minutes right so let's zoom on out and control Z to speed up time you watch the timer on the bottom right there it's for 801 I want to get to 805 or ish there we go let's speed up a bit again He's not flying straight yet, so he's not heading to waypoint two. He's trying to get on course. Problems of AI. He'll do it eventually. There we go. So if my calculations are correct, at around 811, we're going to get a message because he should hit the trigger zone. So speed up time again. Come on, Morris, let's go. I'm a little bit off. There we go. So he's just hit the trigger zone. Okay, let's pause for a sec. And you can see in the top right of the screen, tanker A is RTB. Okay, so we unpause, we're resuming back to normal time. Tanker B should be in. Okay, so here we are. This guy's flying straight and level, just to prove a point here. Okay, F2 again. There's tanker B, he's doing his orbit. There we go. Right, so that's, I hope, it was a, an easy tutorial. It was as quick as I could do it with a sore throat and. Uh, uh, a runny nose but um i hope uh, it was it, it's useful uh, i hope you thought uh, the tutorial was interesting and as i said go into the my discord join the join my discord channel if you want to direct message me go and do so and i'll be more than happy to help thanks for watching guys and take care of yourselves i'll see you soon